I applied for 10,000 jobs because I keep hearing about a supposed labor shortage. So there are a couple different goals that I hope to accomplish by making this video. The first is to see if there is actually a labor shortage. So are companies really in dire need of people? And the second is to see if in large scale it's companies faults that they can't actually fill their open positions due to one reason or the other. You see, when I graduated college in 2016 with this marketing and business degree, I had a hard time finding a job, let alone a job that would pay me a fair wage at all to where I could even live. It's like you went from partying with the boys and then one day you wake up and all of a sudden you're expected to be some sort of corporate hero. And even the jobs that didn't provide a great wage still required like three to five years of experience. And let me ask you a question. How is that even possible? I just got out of college. So in the comment section of the video that actually inspired me to try this for myself, I noticed that you and I, we're not alone in this. Yes, I applied for a job that required 10 years knowledge of a specific slash local industry law that was only two years old at the time, even before enforcement. I called the recruiter and informed them of this and they didn't budge on the requirement. <laughs> Okay, that's absolutely ridiculous, but it's true. It happens. I mean, I saw this senior web developer job that I was trying to apply for like forever ago, right? Like I was looking at this job and it required 15 years of experience in a specific technology that had only been around for seven years. <laughs> it kills me to this day. So like I could definitely see this one. And another comment that really caught my eye was, now the problem is that they wanna pay people with a bachelor's and master's degree $2 above minimum wage and act as if that's good. And that actually is quite true because you could see there's like a, there's like a Del Taco, which is a fast food restaurant down the street from my house. They're hiring for $17 an hour. And I was applying for some of these jobs for this video and they were literally like $15 an hour with a bachelor's degree and three to five years of experience. How are you supposed to make a living off that? Like, how are you supposed to buy a house, raise a family, like do whatever you wanna do? I don't know, nonsense. So six years later, here we are with the same problems that I had in 2016 when I graduated college. And it seems like the great resignation honestly is well needed. So the first thing I did to get started on this journey was use my experience working in the healthcare job market to create two really killer resumes. One of which was for a fresh college graduate and the other one was for someone who didn't graduate college. Now, applying for 10,000 jobs, that's not going to be an easy task at all. So I gave my connection Hustle a call to see if he could code a script for me that will automatically apply for all applicable careers on the major job websites like LinkedIn, CareerBuilder, Monster, and Indeed, which he did. Yo, Hustle, what's going on, brother? What's good, Jake? <laughs> Not much, man. I was actually wondering if you had any time available because I'd like to uh, hire you for some of your services. Yeah, I should have a few slots for you. All right, fire, bro. All right, here's my idea. This is going to sound kind of crazy. So I was and I was wondering if you could write me a script to where I can put in a resume and um, that resume will apply for all these jobs because honestly, applying for a thousand jobs by hand just seems like too much work. So is that something you could do? Yeah, man, that's easy. That's easy? How, how exactly would you do that? So I'm thinking in Python using Google Puppet. Okay, okay. And um, how long do you think it would take you to finish something like this? Like a few days or so. Dude, fire. Okay, all right, cool. So, um, if you want to like send me a quote through messages, that'd be like absolutely great. You know, I'll I'll pay you. I always do. Um, if you just want to like send me that quote and then we can reevaluate and like see how it works, you can show me how the the program works and everything. That'd be really cool, dude. All right, I'll send you the BTC address for the quote. <laughs> okay, so you want to be paid through Bitcoin this time? <laughs> Yeah, man, you know, I'm All right. Well, uh, okay, cool. I, uh, I really appreciate that, dude, and uh, I hope to talk to you soon, man. All right. Thanks, bro. See you. Oh, hustle's out.
the thing with the script is that it wasn't perfect. I actually had to fill out some applications by hand because they got stuck on some really weird questions, which I may or may not show you later. But as a whole, we got the 10,000 jobs applied for and done. But the one thing that I noticed in common with so many of these open jobs is that they're just like the jobs that I applied for when I was graduating college and their expectations are a little bit high. And by a little bit high, I mean absolutely ridiculously high. And no, I'm not making a Snoop Dogg reference. And just to show you how bad some of these jobs are, let's take a look at Indeed. So Indeed is a massive, massive platform for finding jobs. And we're just gonna type in marketing. And we're gonna look for like an entry level position actually. So let's type in entry level marketing. And you're gonna see for an entry level position how ridiculous some of these requirements are and how bad the salaries actually are. Right here, content writer. So this is a job that somebody would get fresh out of college and um, it doesn't actually require them to have a bachelor's degree it looks like but if you look at the salary it's 12 to 15 dollars an hour and as i was talking about earlier i can make more money making tacos down the street okay so that one may or may not have required a degree so i mean i guess we can count that as like the category of you don't need a degree to get this one so let's filter this by education we're going to check out bachelor's degree which is the most common degree you would get for somebody in marketing like me so as you can see the first thing that pops up is the pay-per-click support specialist and this is an entry-level position and it only pays thirty-five thousand to forty thousand a year and that is full time as you can see they prefer that you have a bachelor's degree and that you have experience with google analytics which fresh out of college i hate to break that to every single company out there no one is gonna have one year of google analytics like that's just not it's not feasible like you're fresh out of college you're not gonna have that so they're gonna give you thirty-five thousand to forty thousand a year monday through friday this isn't actually like the worst job i've seen this is like a perfect example of like an average job for someone who just leaves college okay so let's assume that our entry level salary straight out of college with a ton of student loan debt is going to be thirty-five thousand dollars a year let's break that down so the first thing we need to do is we need to look up how many working hours in a year i believe it's 2080 yeah 2080 so there's 52 weeks at 40 hours okay so we've got a salary of thirty-five thousand dollars a year and there's 2080 working hours within an entire year so what we're going to do here is we're going to open up our calculator and we're going to take that 2080 2080 hours and we're going to divide it against thirty-five thousand, and we're going to get our average wage which is sixteen dollars and 82 cents per hour. Now that job, the one I just showed you, is located in the Ann Arbor, Michigan area, which is one of the most expensive areas to live in the entirety of Michigan. I'm talking rent of like $1,300 a month for a single apartment, which is absolutely mind blowing. So if we take this $35,000 that we're earning per year and we divide it by the amount of weeks, you get $673 before tax. <laughs> That's how much you're earning, $673 per week before tax, and your rent is about $1,300 a month. So that is like two and a half weeks of rent, maybe even three weeks just to pay rent for like everything that you've earned. That's absolutely insane. And that is why millennials and other people who are getting into the job market have a really hard time getting on their feet because it's not like it was back in the day. You can't just earn a steady income and just go into a job right after school, right after high school, right after college. It's not that simple these days because on top of this rent, you're gonna be sitting around with a bunch of student loan debt, which is not fun for anybody. Okay, so because of the absurd amount of data I have, I'm just gonna give you guys a little tidbit and show you guys some of the really funny stuff that happened. So of the 10,000 jobs I applied for, 53% of them had listed a wage and the average wage of all of these jobs that I applied for together was $15.34 per hour. And also of these 10,000 jobs, 1,756 of them sent us that fat, sweet interview request. And this is where I mentioned that things got a little weird because the funny thing was the AI applied for some pretty wild jobs, including marketing for a clown college, which we all know that I can be a total clown. 
So here's the email that the Clown College sent to me. Hello, we have recently received your application for the digital marketing manager role here at blank clown college with this position being fully remote we'd love to schedule an interview with you and talk about your previous marketing experience give details of our organization and see if we could be a good fit for the future please click here to schedule a zoom meeting on my calendar best regards blank vp of business development at blank clown college <laughs> so but without a doubt, my favorite email out of all of the thousands of emails that I received was the interview to be in rap marketing. So in the music industry. So let me read you this email. Interview with rap blank. Good evening. This is blank reaching out with the rap blank. We have recently received your application and are pleased with your experience in digital marketing and would like to see some of your portfolio work in the music industry to see if we can move forward with an interview. Please attach your applicable documents. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Blank. So <laughs> I did what any other reasonable person would do. I rapped. I rapped. Is Jacob a clown? Jacob is a clown. What? <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to do this for you, Jake Julia. Goyard. I'm way too white for this. <laughs> it down, leg it up, make it smash, I got YouTube stacks, new guap, where it at, new sponsors on my line, and you know they got a stack, pulling up with a 945 scope attached, like, whoa, I ain't fucking with these bros, I pull up the greatest, and now I'm snagging all these subs, doing this till I make it, because you know that's how I go to the moon in your playlist, because you fuck with me the most, like, damn. So as a conclusion to this video, I think that the entry level job market is significantly better than it was when I graduated college back in 2016. But I do think that the labor industry itself needs a lot of work. It needs to treat its employees better, treat them more like people, pay them livable wages, give them an increase in wage for cost of living on top of a raise every year where they're working hard and putting in results. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video, other than the fact that I might just be a famous rapper now. So if you guys want to check me out on, I can't, I can't even lie. If you guys want to check me out on Spotify, hit me up, but I don't have a Spotify. All I have is a subscription button and a like button. Smash it. Watch this video right here.